Unbelievable that something like this ever happened to me. I just don't know how, how it come about. Jeez, it's amazing. Is it the, you know, the day with the family and it's your birthday? And yeah. Everything just sort of like come together? It's, yeah, the birthday and the statue and on your own street. Holy cow. Is it ever? Ever get any better than that? I don't see what in the world could have ever happen to top something like that. That's it's amazing. So what's more pressure, Bill? Batting in the ninth inning of a game seven of a tie game or trying to explain what happened today? Oh, trying to explain. <laughs> I'd, <laughs> I'd rather strike out with the bases loaded in the ninth and have to do this kind of stuff. <laughs> it never gets old, but does it? What's that? To, uh, just the whole 1960 season, oh, game seven. Uh, it's, it's, it's well, I don't know why. Well, I guess I do know why Pittsburgh took to it as big as they did. It's just something that never happened in a long time, and we weren't we weren't very much favored to win that World Series. But in fact, we were big, big, big underdogs, and to come through and win it in the fashion that we did was fantastic. It's just lasted a long time. Well, the greatest thing about it was the celebration afterwards that the fans had, and there was no destroying anything. No windows broken, no cars turned over, no fires, no nothing. It was just a fun time, and they enjoyed themselves. Any thoughts on joining uh, Pops and Roberto as far as being honored with statues? Oh, geez, that's, I never thought anything like that would ever happen to me. I just I don't know well, you, uh, how it did. Were fairly close to both of them. Does that, that make oh, yes. this even more special that you know, the four I statues played, now you played with? I played with Roberto for all my 17 years and I think about 10 years with Willie. And, and Willie and I were very good friends and so was Roberto and I. We were good friends, all good friends. And it was uh, it was a pleasure just to play 17 years with Clemente and watch him, the strides that he made throughout his career and as great as he got. It was fantastic just to watch him play. And so I see him grow up. Hmm. They're all carrying bats on their statues. You don't have a bat. How did that? I'm not known for my bat. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I'm known for my glove. And that, I took more, like I said, when I was just, I'd rather make an out than I would make an error any time. I'd rather make 10 outs in a row than make an error any time. It's just I took more pride in my defense than I did my hitting. I think if I'd have taken a little more pride in it, I could have, my, maybe my lifetime average would have been a little bit higher. Where did the pride in the defense come from? I Just doing it, I guess. And the people start talking about it. Boy, you do that quick. And then you, you know, you start figuring it out. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> That's it. You can do something that somebody else can't do. Was that a conscious well. effort as you grew up? Ah. Always trying to get better was the conscious effort. It was just trying to get better and find ways to do it. And in those days, there weren't that many coaches around, and uh, you just had to do it in trial and error. And that's how I learned how to make the double play. But I did get a good start in high school with my high school coach, and he gave me some good habits to get into in catching the ground ball so I didn't have to break a lot of old bad habits. So I just started off the right way, which was good. You uh, talk about pride in your defense, and everyone who played with you and watched you talks about that. And you think it's kind of ironic that you're known for maybe the most famous home run in baseball. Yeah, game. that does, isn't it? That's something. Uh, it's amazing. Yeah. It, uh, you never figure that. What'd you think of the statue when they took that? It's fantastic. Cover? Jesus, it's big. It looks, it looks big. <laughs> It just, it looked overwhelmingly big to me. I just, I don't know. I never expected anything that big. Holy cow. It's in a great setting overlooking the city. It's beautiful. Yeah. You were introduced to baseball by your father. And mm -hmm. your grandson, Billy, was helped to unveil that statue. You can see the completions of the generations. <laughs> Pretty much so. He, he was there. He, he's hard to... Hard to settle down. He's, he likes to move all the time. He's five. He's five years old. Yeah. That's it. He, so surprised he was quiet enough to stay here for the hour or so it was out there. Does, does he understand why his grandfather is? I don't. 
I kind of doubt it. He's five years old, not quite yet, but he's he's getting close. What a summer it's been, huh? 60 team here in June, and now this. Yes, and then the, on the 13th, they're going to have some kind of a black tie affair, I guess. I heard that uh, on October 13th. Then they got the thing up in uh, where Forbes Field was and listened to the game at the same time, same date. Or not same date, but same time, anyhow. What's the most unusual place that you've been recognized? I think maybe in a foreign country or someplace far from here, totally unexpected. Anything yeah. you recall? Where somebody came up to you and said, hey, I just want to thank you for hitting the home run, or I remember watching you. <laughs> well, that's, that's happened a lot. Yeah, could you remember any place really where, where you at, just didn't but... expect it? You thought maybe people didn't know you, and it turns out somebody <laughs> did. No, no. Can't think of anything. Anyhow. But it, but it does happen quite. Oh, a bit. it happens a lot. Yeah, it happens a lot. 